have been sent a lot of products to unbox and look at and be surprised at. But Cooler Master has done the best when it comes to packaging. They sent me a gigantic box that I can't see the packaging, see any labels, read anything. It's just a Pelican case and it looks heavy duty as heck. And then it's got these snapperoonies here. I think this is the back side. It just has make it yours. There we go. Are you ready for this? There we go. PK721, take your everyday carry to the next level. Piece of nice foam here. This is an interesting wrist dress. I think they just cut up a piece of foam. It's like mushy, 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 mushy. And all it has is a Cooler Master logo and then cover. No one ever uses that cover. So there's the keyboard. And I'm guessing that's just the first layer of the box since it was supposed to come with other stuff. Yeah, nice trim. What the heck? Is that trim or is that a peel? I think that's a peel. Yeah, so this is a peel. It would have been cool if it was a trim. You know, some gold trim. Now it's all stuck in my fingers. So nice peel. Got chamfered edges. Ooh, look at that shine. I have a feeling it'll be a finger magnet later down the line. But first glance, it reminds me a lot of the shape of the TM680. If you haven't looked at it, this knob is gigantic. It's satisfying though. Listen to this. Listen to this. Nice and tactile. They said the top plate is removable, so I'll have to look at that. And look at that USB-C port. It's tiny. It looks tight. I don't know if my cable will fit. I sure hope so. The right shift looks small. Very, very small. And check it. No floating keycap design. What is that? Out of the box, I think it looks good. I like that it's not floating keycap. It's fancy looking. Nice and sleek. OEM profile. And it's lightweight. Two feetsies. Nice nice rubber bottoms. Surprisingly, no rubber feet on the top here, but they're just using the ones of the feet. Is the case aluminum? The top is, but the bottom is not. So the bottom here is plastic, solid with the aluminum. I hope this fits. And it does not fit. Why do they always do this? I think it comes with cables. We'll be all right. Black braided cables, white braided cable. Oh, wait, this one has an aviator. Black braided cable with an aviator. Wow. So this one must be the base cable. And then these are their add-on accessories. And on there, sort of nice, sort of nice, a little cute. I feel like this aviator is smaller, or maybe it's just because it doesn't have color. It's definitely smaller. What do you think? It's so cute. All right, here is my big boy adult man cable with lots of muscles. You know, he's been working out my big cable and their baby cable. But unfortunately, my big cable doesn't fit. We'll go with black. All right, RGB is clean, no flicker. I think it's also a Bluetooth keyboard. So even if I didn't want the cable, I didn't need the cable. Oh yeah, it does have some flicker. Some flicker, purple RGB. So let me set up the sound test. Sounds good. Yes, for stock, it's pretty good. Lube stabs for sure. Base bar, a little bit hollow, but not terrible. And I think my poster just fell. Cool. <laughs> switches. I think they're just some kind of linears. I'll have to take it off. For the stock, for, for a really big company, I like the stabilizers. They're okay. The switches could definitely use some help. Uh, they better be plate mounted. Plate mounted stabilizers. And there's also a bunch of lube around it. You can see it glistening in the light. Red switches and it has uh, the LEDs sticking out. So if you wanted to desolder this, it would be pretty painful. If it has that light thing, that means they're not hot swappable. And the shift key Key is really small. I think that's 1.75. A little more complicated, especially if you want to replace the keycaps and have to think about how small that shift is. Did I do it? Okay, there's red. I've seen people use these more intense color things. I've never been one to do that. One color. Easy. So you can set macros. You can record your LED backlight. It's like a, a really intense ducky keyboard with a big knob and a ton of customizability on the keyboard without having to download any software. So, okay, Bluetooth. Let's try Bluetooth. So we have Bluetooth, but we also have 2.4 gigahertz pairing mode. Did not see a dongle. I'm assuming they send you a dongle. Here we go. The dongle's actually attached to the keyboard. Little hole here. The secret compartment. Gotta open it somehow. 
Okay, be careful you don't lose the doorway. And there we go. Secret compartment. Houses a dongle. Okay, that's cool. I don't think anyone's done that. All right, dongle goes in. So the other side, the right side, you've got your options. You've got your dongle option, your Bluetooth option, the wired option. We'll go to dongle option. We'll go down. Ooh, cool. works awesomely. So the dongle works. That's cool. I like that. And unplug that. No more dongle. I'll do Bluetooth instead. Honestly, I don't know if my PC has Bluetooth. Perhaps it does not. It probably doesn't. Never mind. Back to the dongle. The knob. Let's tackle the knob. Profile one on the knob is volume up, volume down, and mute. Profile two on the knob. FN and this. Previous track, next track, and pause play. Profile three. Reduce brightness, up brightness, and backlight on and off. And profile four is cycling through RGB modes. Ooh, back to profile one. So oh, those are the knob profiles and it doesn't say anything about software, which I actually really appreciate. You can do everything on the keyboard. What switches are they? TTC red. Those are the switches, not even get on just reds. For the rest of us, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't like that. It doesn't have any angle at all. I mean, it's just, just a piece of foam. Comfortable though. Another cool feature on uh, this page is that there's two colors. There's space gray and silver. I happen to have space gray. You can remove the top plate and then change them to what you want. So I'm going to do that. They sent three additional top plates. This is definitely the raw one, the raw aluminum. So this one's so you can spray paint or customize your own. Or nice. I, I don't think I'm going to be using this one, but maybe I'll do some spray painting. I don't know, blue or something would look awesome. And right, this one's not raw, but this one's silver. It comes with a knob, different colored knob. So this one's lighter colored, I like light colors. So this one's darker. This one's lighter. It's cooler already. How to remove Move the top. First, it says you have to take off keycaps. I wonder why. Okay, I took off the keys that they told me to take off. Push this latch and then your cover should just come right off. There we go. And that's the space gray cover. And here's the aluminum cover. Or minty green. No, minty blue. Screw the aluminum one. I like this one better. The blue is nice. And the last thing they provide are keycaps. But I have to be really careful because they're not covered. A metal keycap puller, quite nice. I'll leave it in there since I have a bunch of my own. And then they give you black keycaps and white keycaps. So let me go look at for the pricing. $100. Where, ooh, battery life's not bad. 73 hours with the LED off. So the keycaps that are on the keyboard are ABS and laser. And then the ones that you buy extra to customize it, which is coming soon. Those are the PBT keycaps. Yeah. The white's gonna be nice. The white is gonna be beautiful. What is this? These legends are so weird. Why would they do this? Look at that exclamation mark. And look at where that one is. It's not even on the same line. Why would you do that? The ABS ones at least are aligned properly. <sighs> kind of stuff that gets your OCD going. What do you think? Green? The white very much reflects the colors. These keycaps are so bright. I'll do like level three brightness. It's bright. It's nice. I like PBT sounds better than ABS sounds. The only thing holding it back is not hot swappable. I think that's the only thing. We just need it to be hot swappable. Then people can do whatever the heck they want with this keyboard. Oh yeah, that's the CK721. Overall, got a lot of pros, few cons. I really wish it was hot swap. I think that would make it a game changing keyboard, but it's not. And the price is okay. I think $100, pretty decent. If you want a modable keyboard, this is not the one. If you want something straight off the shelf and it sort of looks really pretty and you, can, you have all the RGB, you have all the macros, you can reprogram it, do whatever you want. It's a pretty good option. The top plates are cool. That's pretty much it.